hi there everybody um, I had this um, smart drive sitting around in the shed for a, oh, a good six months I always wondered how it would perform as a generator it's um, not modified yet it probably does have to be modified because um, a little tests it's not proving useful in its current state um, so we got our three phase output <coughs> I've been pedaling. Ah, oh, yeah, I forgot. I should say it's hooked up to a bike. I just rigged up an old frame thing. That grey frame was a treadmill. Uh, this pulley came off of an old washing machine. That's just the um, spindle drive from the smart drive. I made up a bearing housing, a crude one, but it was only out of scrap. I didn't spend any money. Used a grinder to cut the round disc, hole saw to cut through there. Um, I have a heavy duty bridge rectifier here I found in my scrap, 75 amps, six, 1600 volts, so that does the DC conversion. These things here are actually um, high switches, like transistors, these must be the triggers, and these are the power outlets I think. That's a serial number. I haven't had a use for them yet. <sighs> so I've got the meter just connected to the voltage at the moment, unloaded. I'll paddle it by hand. So I can go up past, I think I've got it to like putting it on the smallest cog and pedaling as fast as I could. I got it to a thousand volts DC. But when you hook it up to a load, I'll show you in a minute. I'll connect this this thing here. It's um, 21 volt, 5 amp DC motor. It came out of a wire feed unit of a um, MIG welder. So I'll connect that and I'll get back. Okay, I have the amp meter connected and voltage. Uh, but you watch how much torque you need to turn that motor. I can barely move that with my arm. Uh, we have motion. Uh, Raining like. Uh, hang on, I'll put that on the 20 range. Now, uh, try again. God, it's like really hard to turn. Look at the speed. I'm using all the force I can push this. Uh, we got 12 volts DC and no reading on that. <sighs> yep, so that's one reason you gotta rewire one of them because of the um, torque. It's so much, it's unbelievable. So we weren't even pushing out milliamps. So that just shows you a battery is really good because oh God. I keep doing that, I'm gonna be out of breath. Alright, well, um that's the DC version, so you can't really do much with it. You could probably have a smaller load. Oh, I'll get a smaller motor. I have a um, little motor from a DC dust vacuum cleaner connected. So I've got the amp set up through this and voltage. Oh god, it's still too hard to turn. Yeah, and I still can't turn that for some reason. Yeah, we're we shorting out somewhere or what? Nope. <laughs> oh, all right. So I have a cap which is rated at 250 volts DC. So I'll um, stick this in and we'll see if we can turn it. Okay, so having that cap connected, I still can't turn the motor really well. Uh, let's connect. See if we get any milliamps. Oh, 
belt slipping. Totally just talked up. <sighs> Let's try one. Oh no, that won't work then if we take off one of them. <sighs> Alright, see? So, no good in its current state for DC conversion because you can't even um, drive a little motor like that. It's just locking up. There's too much torque. Alright, so we, um, we'll scrap the DC conversion and we'll see what we can get with our AC. I'll set that up and I'll get back. Leads from the uh, three phase outlets. A 20 watt light bulb. We've got this one connected at the moment. That's 20 watt, 20 watt. This is unknown. Doesn't say what it is, but it's a halogen. That's not connected yet. So we've got amps and voltage. Okay, at least we can wind this. We're getting up some speed. Ah, it's a bit dark. Can't see that light working, can you? We're saturated. Now we're plugged in. Yeah. Alright, we're over. Okay, look how fast we have to do this. We're doing this speed. And we're at inconsistent but we're really up there in the voltage. Alright, we're about oh, I'm short circuiting. Why is it getting heavier load? over 900 volts then. And a milliamp. 140. <sighs> I can smell something burning. Moldy meter doesn't like that setup. <sighs> Alright, so I'll connect the other lights and I'll um I'll tap into the other third one as well. Okay, I got three of the lights connected to the three cables. I'm just um, rebridging that one lead back to that one. <sighs> and okay, we can light all three, so we're probably like 60 watts. It's spinning pretty fast and quite easy ish for a hand. But oh, that's it, it's getting harder. So, so on the um on the internet there's uh wire wire diagrams. So whew. Let me catch my breath. As I was saying, there's um, wire diagrams you can find to rewire these up uh, so they're not so talky. They use them on wind, wind farms, things. Uh, there's also one which is saying you can turn it into a seven phase, which they get good results out of, which would be interesting. I didn't really want to tamper with it, but in its current form, it's pretty useless at the moment. It could do with a um, big flywheel as well to assist in some of that cogging. So I'd say that's probably 20 watts too maybe, maybe more. So just disconnecting that one, that's the halogen one. We can um, power those two for these. So we get 40 watts in its current form but at high voltage. Not much milliamps probably going through there. Can't really tell because the meters um, play up with the high frequency coming out of that generator. It sort of don't give you much. <sighs> well, hope you find that interesting. Um, 
I'm not going to play with it for a while. I'll um, look at the diagrams for rewiring those coils. They look a bit complicated, but doable. You gotta splice these and join a heap of them together and set up some new wiring and rebridge them. <sighs> wow, that exhausted me. All right, thanks for watching. I think the high voltage burnt the multimeter out. It smells, it smells like burnt coil. I should be on zero. What about DC? Yeah, see, look, it thinks it's got DC. There's the leads there. <laughs> ah, I had this one so long. <laughs> yep. Shouldn't be any power coming through in this house here at the moment like this. <laughs> Go down to 20. <sighs> I get two, three volt, I mean 0 0.3 volts. Hmm, it's got a real bad smell. And it's hot right in this corner, right here. Well, I shouldn't really burn it out, should it, with voltage? I'm pretty sure there's a million ants flying through that thing. Hmm. Say goodnight to that one. For the conspiracy people, see my antenna? Got my antenna connected to my multimeter. And I'm on high voltage, AC. We're getting 1500 volts. <laughs> but we're not really, because look, here's the other end. So, 5G, eh? Pumping out so much power. Look at that. You could run two houses on that. Ah, oh, here's the other multimeter. It's got zero going through it. Even connected up to the antenna. Make that one. Oh, look at that one, that's still got power. And it's totally disconnected. Poor little rest in peace multimeter. I've had that for ages. Not bad for ten dollars, but it's really stinky right down in here. So there you go, don't worry about the 3G. Nothing 4G I should say. 5G. Oops. <laughs> Get the G's right. Alright, thanks for watching.